it's time to just blow this team up. I'm not even putting forth much effort into this. Maybe tomorrow, not right now. I'm just... I, I don't have any... I don't have any sort of fire or, you know, anything to put into this right now. Because it, it's the same old shit every single week. And... It's like this team just knows flat out that they're done. It's like Doug Peterson, I mean, he said it earlier this week that he wouldn't be unhappy if he got fired. It's clear to me, at least in my opinion, he just wants to get it over with at this point. He played, he coached this game like he's asking to get fired. Like, I... I, I just don't understand anything about this anymore been saying it every single week especially after an Eagles loss because guess what they're becoming a routine week in and week out that uh, 2017 was the biggest fluke of our lives um, that this team is very far away from Super Bowl contention let alone winning the division and I say very far away as in four to six years away because it's time to just blow it up. Just get, just fire, cut, release, trade, you name it. Everything, <coughs> everything in your power as, as much as you can do. Just get it over with. Get it over. Just, just, it's a wrap, okay? It, it's, it's a wrap. If anything, get Howie Roseman and Doug Peterson out of the building. The only complaint that I have for Jim Schwartz tonight is why the fuck did you put a chip on DK Metcalf's shoulder? Because if you didn't know, you know, DK Metcalf would have loved to be drafted by Philadelphia. And Jim Schwartz just had the audacity to walk up to him pregame and say, you're never going to be, at least, not you're never going to be, but... You are definitely not Megatron right now. Not at this moment. You're not there yet. Why would you do that? He's already destroyed us, and you're specifically you, once before. Why would you add more gas to the fire? Why would you pour more salt into our wound? We haven't beaten this team since 2008. Why would you do this? We are 0-6 as a franchise against Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll. Why would you do this? I will never understand. And I'm not even going to call for his job because the defense today was not the problem. DK Metcalf did what DK Metcalf does. I mean, there's no denying that. He torched us. Very physical, aggressive matchup against Darius Slay. Darius Slay took full accountability, unlike some people on this freaking team and within this organization. But the run defense was great. We got to Russell Wilson a few times. We, we made him throw the ball away a lot. We made him uncomfortable. It wasn't easy for him. It, it wasn't easy. But then again, you look at the offense and you just wonder how on earth <clears throat> how on earth did Doug Peterson get away with calling nearly 60 pass plays and only running the ball 14 total times. And if you subtract Carson Wentz's four uh, rushing rushes on pass plays. That's that's ten times. And of course, if you count out the quarterback draw, that is nine times. A running back ran the ball nine times today, and we passed the football forty-five times. Just baffling. Just just baffling, and. No separation from your wide receivers against the worst uh, pass defense in the league. Same story against what was then at the point at that point in time the worst pass defense in the league. The Dallas Cowboys no separation. Offense was struggling. It it, it just it, it's amazing. It really is, and no one seems to care. At least definitely not on the offensive side of things. No one seems to care. And what am, what am I going to be asking for personally? I'm going to be asking for us to blow it the fuck up. I'm gonna, I'm going to ask for us to kindly remove a couple of people and by a couple I mean 95%
of the people on the offensive side of things out of the equation. So, Jeffrey Lurie, I'm, I'm going to ask you again, can you get on this? And, and another thing, where, Jay, where was Jalen Hurts? Because, let's face it, in that first quarter, you definitely could have used more than just a six or a pass completion to, you know, spark this offense up. He completed that on second down, and then on third down, Carson Wentz came back in to get sacked. What was the what what's the strategy here, to just make the offense even more out of sync than it was before Jalen Hurts completed that pass? I I don't know. And another thing, why on earth uh, is Travis Fulgham not getting more snaps compared to Alshon Jeffrey and Greg Ward? Why is he not being favorited more than Alshon Jeffrey at least? Where's the logic in that? I do not know. Props to Dallas Goddard. Props to Jason Kelsey out, outside of one bad snap that went over Carson's head. Props to um, the defense, Fletcher Cox. Uh, even not even not not just for how poorly he played, but even Darius Slay just for putting that effort and getting that that aggression and that that physicality on 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 our secondary. Jalen Mills made a lot of really good plays. Alex Singleton, Duke Riley, the referees were pretty dog shit but that's not an excuse because our offense was dog shit i want the eagles to blow it up i want us to just just completely fold and admit that we are bad and that we are have we have been bad for two years and we've just been living in the shadows of what was 2017 which is really truly just i don't even know how that year came to be i really don't um Outside of, of course, Frank Reich. Yeah, yeah, keep saying it. I know Frank Reich was here, and he won, he won us to chip. I know, I know, I know, I agree. But it doesn't make sense how we could fall so far from that and get to where we are now. And I'm done with it, man. I'm done with it. I want, I want this team to be successful. I want this team to be winning. I don't want to see us struggle. I don't want to be wishing for my quarterback to be benched. I don't want to be wishing for him to be out of Philadelphia with the way that he's playing. But... It's tough. I wish my co- my coach would understand what works and what doesn't and wouldn't be a stubborn asshole and wouldn't be so arrogant and so just completely just okay with the fact that our team is perhaps the laughingstock of the national, uh, the NFC East right now. Not just the NFC East, but the NFC in general. It's bad. And I, I don't... I don't see how you can be okay with wanting to be fired. I don't see how you can be okay with any of it. Nobody on offense played particularly particularly well, especially Carson Wentz. The stats were padded on towards the end. I, I'm not even going to get into it. It's just there's no more defending it, obviously. There's no more, um, and that's that. I'll come back tomorrow with a uh, more passionate video, an actual video of my face. I just don't feel like uh, setting myself up right now uh, because, well, I'm not in the mood. Uh, I got other things to worry about, like school, trying to nab a uh, PlayStation 5, and to pick up an Xbox this Thursday. So I got other priorities right now. And um, I love the Eagles. Uh, you know, everyone here knows that. You all know that. I've been covering this team for five years. I've been watching this team for nearly all 20 of my years on Earth. Um, but I haven't felt this demoralized in a long time. I don't think I've ever felt this demoralized as an Eagles fan watching my team. Not even in 2015. Not even in 2012 when I knew that we were uh, flat-out garbage in Andy Reid's final year. I really... I really... It's, it's unbelievable. It's, unbe- it's, unbe- it's unbelievable how far we have fallen. And it's not going to get any better. Let me know how you guys feel about this 23-17 uh, to loss. More like 23-6 to um, loss to the uh, Seattle Seahawks. And... Catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, Yeah. Stay safe. And as always, fly those fly. Peace out, guys.